Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome to my beauty stash. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos. Buster's back and she has chosen all of the makeup that I have on my face right now. I have to say she was a real team player and I really hope you guys enjoy watching this fun video of how my cat Buster picked all the makeup that is on my face today. Okay Buster, you're going to help me decide on what makeup I am going to use today and I have a big basket full of makeup that you're gonna have to choose from, Kitty, okay? All right, first up is going to be primer. Which primer do you want me to use? Which one, this one, this one, or this one? Or this one, which one? Oh, she licked this one. Now, Buster, we are going to pick our foundation, my foundation, I should say, and I have three for you to choose from. Which one is it going to be, my pet? Which one are you thinking? This one, this one, or this one? Let's see, I need you to pick one. This one. We need to pick a concealer. Which one of these do you want, Buster? This one, this is a Dermablend one, or do you want the Urban Decay or the Pacifica? Uh-oh, she likes this one. Now we are gonna go with setting powder, and I have three for Buster to choose from. Which one do you want? Uh-oh, she went straight for the Jeffree Star. She even licked the Jeffree Star Magic Setting Powder in Translucent, so we will go with that one. Now Buster is going to help me choose a bronzer. Which bronzer do you like, Buster? Do you like the Anastasia? No. How about the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer? Essence? I think we have a winner with Essence. Now Buster's going to choose a blush. Which blush do you like? Hourglass? Milani? Or Olimar? Which one, Kitty? Hourglass. Now we need to pick a highlighter. Which highlighter do you want, Buster? Do you want this one? Do you want the Wet n Wild? Which one is it going to be? Oh, Buster doesn't like highlighter. We need to pick one, Kitty. Which one do you want? Her paw is touching the Wet n Wild. We're going to go with that one. Now for mascara, which one do you want to choose, Buster? Do you like this one, this one, or this one? L'Oreal, how about Tarte? No, how about Lancome? Oh, she has a winner with the Lancome. Now, which eyeliner pen do you want me to use, Buster? Pick one. Do you want this one? Okay, how about this one? How about this one? Uh-oh, I think we have a tie. I'm gonna give it to the Physician's Formula Eyeliner. Now for setting spray, Buster, which setting spray do you want me to use? Catrice? Flower? ColourPop? Which one, Kitty? Ooh, you turned your head away, the flower. How about between these two, which one? Which one, Buster? Which one do you want? Which one? Patrice? ColourPop? How about this way? Which one do you want? ColourPop. Now for eyeshadow palettes, Buster, I have four that you're going to need to pick. Which four do you want, Buster? This one? This one? What about Alien? No. What about ABH Norvina? This one? Nope. I guess we're going to go with the LA Splash or Le Splash. Not too sure how you pronounce it. 
the Golden Gatsby palette. All right, guys, so these are the products that Buster chose. I'm going to show them to you again because I think that footage got a little bit uh, cut off when I was showing them to you as we were going through them. For primer, Buster chose the NYX Bear With Me Cannabis Primer. This is a very glowy primer. I have done a video using this before. I will be sure to link it up above so you guys can check that out. But this is the one we're going to be going with today. For foundation, Buster chose one I haven't worn in a while. This is a Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. And I am in the shade, what shade do I have? I am in the shade 2 Alabaster. For concealer, Buster chose the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. And this is in the shade 20 NN. I do have a video testing this out along with the foundation. And I will link that above as well. For setting powder, Buster chose one of my favorites. And this is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Setting Powder. And I am in the shade Translucent on this one. Really do love it. Great for brightening the under eye area. For bronzer, Buster chose actually a bronzer that um, I did a video on in the summer about and I will link that as well but this is the essence uh, matte bronzing powder but I kind of feel it's not that matte it does have a nice little uh, sheen to it so I really do enjoy using this bronzer and I'm really glad that she picked this one for blush Buster chose the hourglass blush and let me show you the shade on this it's a really pretty pinkish neutral shade it really has just a soft soft glow to it really do enjoy using this and this is in the shade mood exposure for highlighter buster chose another favorite of mine wet n wild and this one is in blossom glow i am a huge fan of wet n wild and of course of their highlighters i think their highlighters are some of the best at the drugstore so i'm really glad buster went with this one for my eyeshadow palette Buster chose the LA Splash or La Splash. I think it's LA Splash though. The Golden Gatsby Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the palette looks like. Really pretty neutral, but fun little pops of color with the glitter over here on this end. I really do love this palette. I actually did a video, created a really nice look with it, and the footage somehow got deleted. I don't know, it was over the summer. And I'm really glad that I get to use this palette again and create a totally different look than the first look I created. And I'm really happy that Buster picked this one. For eyeliner, Buster chose all three actually, but I'm gonna go with the Physician's Formula Eyeliner. Um, I did review this recently in a Physician's Formula, full face of Physician's Formula when I was doing the Organic Wear line. So I did enjoy using it. Mine, however, is a little messed up. As you can see here, one of the little bristles is out. You see where it is right there? So um, I've been able to maneuver around it but I'm gonna try and trim it. Hopefully I don't ruin it before um, I apply it today. For mascara, Buster chose um, one of my favorite brands for mascara. This is the Lancome Big Mon Monsieur Big Mascara. And I haven't used this one in a while, so let me make sure I shake it up really well. Let me show you the brush on this. This is a fantastic mascara, guys. It just curls, volumizes your lashes. I mean, it lengthens them. You are gonna have really dramatic lashes with this Lancome mascara. And last but not least, Buster chose the ColourPop All-Star Setting Spray. I use this from time to time. It's not one of the ones I reach for most often, um, but I do enjoy using it. And um, we're gonna go with this one today. All right, so I just realized I forgot to have Buster choose a lip color. So I have three here for her to hopefully choose from. Which one is it going to be, Buster? Do you want the Milani? Maybelline? She turned her head at that one. And what about Urban Decay? Oh, I think she sniffed at the Milani one. And this is the Milani... A more shine and this is in the color 03 crush all right guys so I'm about to go create a look using all of the makeup that Buster here helped me pick out if you want to see how the look turns out 
keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to start with is my eyes and the eyeshadow palette that Buster chose for me to use today is the LA Splash Golden Gatsby palette. To prime my eyelids, I'm going to go in with my usual Revolution Pro Eye Elements Core Eye Primer. As usual, I will be using my Morphe by Jeffree Star eyeshadow brushes. The first shade that I'm gonna go in with is the black matte shade called Speakeasy. And I'm going to apply that all over my eyelid. I look crazy. All right, so now I'm going to take a clean brush and I'm going to start just kind of buffing that out on the edges to kind of give it a smoky effect. It is not gonna stay pure black by any means. I just wanna buff that out a little bit in the crease and kind of towards above it um, so that it can blend easier when I start applying my other shades. The next shade I'm gonna go in with is called, I think, Zazzled? Zoo Zazzled, it has to be Zazzled. <laughs> this one right here, it's a green shimmery shade, really pretty. And I'm going to apply that using my ring finger first. I'm not gonna place it in the inner corner, I'm gonna leave that free for a lighter shade. That's really pretty and it lays really nicely over that matte black. Now I'm going to go back in with that little blending brush and I'm going to wipe it off and I'm just going to start blending out my edges again. Now I'm going to take a little pencil brush and I'm going to pick up some of the shade Ritzy right here and I'm going to apply that in the inner corner. Wow. I didn't even have to wet the brush. That's just payoff straight from going in with a brush that is dry, not wet. Wow, that's beautiful. I love the combination of the gold with the green. I think they blend out and look so well together. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the shade Highball right here, and I'm gonna work that into my crease. Okay, let me clean up a little bit on the edges. Not bad. So I'm gonna leave the eye look the way it is right now. I'm going to pop off, do my eyebrows, and then I will come back and we will finish the rest of the makeup. Okay guys, so for primer, Buster chose the NYX Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Primer. I picked this up at Ulta and I did do a review with it, wear test, along with the um, latest foundation from NYX, which is the Born To Glow. Um, I'll have that linked up above. That's all I'm gonna go in with. And I'm not gonna really focus that too much on my nose. I'm gonna mainly place it right in here. Maybe a little bit up here on my chin, Cupid's bow. Just where I would want the most glow. Okay, so for foundation, Buster chose one that I haven't used in quite a while. Um, and it's not really my favorite. It's just, mm, it's just okay. And this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. Um, this doesn't really leave my skin as matte as I would like, despite whatever powder I put on it. Um, so that's why I don't reach for it all that much. So we are going to give this a shot. I don't think I've ever worn it with that NYX primer. So I'm gonna be interested to see how it wears throughout the day today. So not bad guys, I'm liking the way that both of the foundation and the primer um, blended together. I think it looks really nice on my skin. I have no complaints right now. I'm really liking how how dewy it looks and how glowy it looks. So let me go in next with the concealer and for concealer, Buster chose the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. For powder, Buster chose the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Magic Powder and this one is in the shade Translucent. 
I really do enjoy using this powder. Um, it is actually one of my favorite powders to use. Um, it really, it blurs under my eye. It doesn't cake up and um, it really does give a nice brightening effect. Although I feel like the concealer has done a great job of brightening my under eye already, but um, this powder just, just blurs everything away. I really do enjoy using it. And I love the way it smells. It smells like cotton candy. I'm just gonna get a really light dusting of powder and just kind of press it in to my cheek area where I'm going to lay down like bronzer and blush and all that stuff just so that everything can set really well, lay nicely on the skin. Before I go in with the rest of my face products, um, I'm going to add some Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And just kind of lock everything, help everything mesh well together. Alright, so for bronzer, Buster chose actually one of my favorites. This is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. This is the one for lighter skin. I discovered this bronzer over the summer and I really did enjoy using it this summer. It smells so nice. It smells like, like coconutty kind of. Just reminds me of the beach, you know, vacation, summertime, fun in the sun. Of course, we're wearing our SPF when we're in the sun. I'm using my little Pac-Man brush. Still enjoy using all of the products that I got in that Wet n Wild Pac-Man collection. Really nice, really, really nice subtle colors, subtle glow to the skin with this Essence Bronzer. I, I love it, I love it. I'm glad Buster chose it. <laughs> For blush today, Buster chose the Hourglass Mood Exposure Blush. This is um, the travel size, and this is what the color looks like. Really, really nice blush everyday wearable blush. Um, I enjoy using this. Um, I do take it with me whenever I travel just because it is so uh, small in size and it does even come with a little mirror. So um, I'm gonna use that little mirror right now to put this blush on. But really pretty, really just natural flush to the cheeks. And it even gives that beautiful glow. We really do love this one. For highlighter, Buster chose the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and this is in the shade Blossom Glow. So far, I like everything. I'm going to spray some more of the Morphe Continuous Mist. The first shade I'm going to go in with on my lower lash line is this dark matte brown shade and this one is Old Fashioned. Now I'm going to go in with Mint Julep. Now I'm going to place that a little bit under where I just laid down Old Fashioned. Now I'm going to go in with some more of Highball. Work that into my crease. I'm going to go back and intensify the two shimmer shades that are on my eyelid. I'm going to take a clean blending brush and just go over my crease area. Now for eyeliner, Buster chose the, actually she chose all three, but um, I picked this one from the three and this is the Physician's Formula um, Eye Booster Pen. Yeah, Eye Booster Waterproof um, Eyeliner. For mascara, Buster chose the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. This is in black. I'm going to shake this really well because I have not used it in a little while. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my LA Girl Shockwave in black and I'm just going to use that to uh, do the waterline on my upper and lower lashes. Now for lips, Buster chose the Milani. This is the Amore Shine. For setting spray, Buster chose the ColourPop All Star Setting Spray. I'm gonna give this a good shake. All right, so this is the completed look using all products that my beautiful Buster chose for me to wear today. What do you guys think? 
I think she did a great job at choosing the products um, and looking at everything that I have here in my basket. Um, the only thing guys that I am completely disappointed with and I'm probably going to toss out right now is this Physicians Formula um, eyeliner. It just I cannot stand the way my eyeliner looks right now. It was such a disaster working with this. The little bristle, again, it came damaged. Um, I should have just sent it back, um, but I just didn't want to mess with it. Um, the formula is great though, don't get me wrong. And if mine wasn't damaged, it would be a really great eyeliner. And I do plan to purchase it again, but I have to throw this out because these bristles were just a nightmare. It, my whole eye look, I almost had to root start all over again. <laughs> I'm very happy with the way that this look came out. And let me grab Buster so she can say goodbye to you guys. So that is it for today, guys. Buster, you wanna say anything to them? Hmm? You did a good job today, Kitty. What do you guys think? Did she do a good job? Leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button. I will see you all real soon. You guys have a great day or night. Wherever it is you all are at, stay hydrated, drink your water, right Buster? And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.